when I started making YouTube videos about two, three years ago, um, one of the things that I hated the most was every time I had to film a video, I would have to set up all my gear, my cameras, my monitors, my mic, etc. And I always wanted to kind of come up with a setup that allowed me to sit down at this desk, turn the camera on, and start filming. Because I noticed that the whole setup process started taking up a lot out of my time of making the video that by the time I get it all set up, I don't even want to make the video anymore. Now, I've shown you guys an entire studio tour of this office and how the setup looks and the equipment that I utilize to make these videos, but I kind of wanted to focus on what I have on this desk right here that I'm filming on. Um, one of the most important things is being able to really just sit down, turn the camera on, and start filming without having wasting time to set everything up. So I shot a couple of behind the scenes of this particular desk, and I wanted to give you guys an idea of maybe how you could develop your own setup, um, maybe get ideas from what I got here that will help you create videos faster and you don't have to worry about setting everything up um, every time you want to film a video. So one of the first things that I've seen to love the most is these Manfrotto um, friction arms. So I have them up here on my screen. I'm going to link them down below. I got them from b &H. These Manfrotto friction arms are actually holding up my monitor and my camera. Um, I no longer use a tripod. And the reason for that is because these attach right onto my desk. I don't have to have a tripod kind of sitting in the way. I don't have to worry about the tripod tipping over. Um, I got my dog running around, for example, or anyone just tripping over it. It's just one less thing that I have to do. So I highly, highly recommend these Manfrotto friction arms. You could use them to keep on your desk to have a proper setup, or you could actually utilize them to film yourself. Uh, let's say you're just making a cooking scene. I mean, you could unhook them, put them onto the next desk that you're cooking on, position the camera where you want it, and go ahead and film. Now, the next thing that I have going on here is I got my laptop. Now, I always film with my laptop here. I have my notes. If I'm recording a, um, a scene right off the computer that I want to show you guys, I utilize my laptop, so I always have a laptop on my desk. The computer behind me here is what I edit on. Now, the next thing that's here, part of the setup, is the Aperture 120D. I've had this light for about, I think like two years now. Uh, it's positioned literally like right next to me, as you can see, but once I put my hand here, you could see it light up pretty well. This is without the light on. This is with the light on. It's very quiet, it doesn't make noise, it doesn't overheat, and I rarely ever move this light anymore because, again, this is kind of like what my setup is, and all I gotta do is come in, turn the light on, and I'm ready to go. Next thing is I have the Sennheiser uh, 416 mic. Everything that I'm talking about is linked below. Uh, this mic is sitting right above the frame. I will bring it down just a bit. There it is. It's a shotgun mic. Um, it's a little on the pricey side, but it's a great investment for the long run because I think audio in your videos are very, very important. Um, the mic is hooked up to a Mix Pre 3. Again, I did videos on this before, but the idea here is to kind of see how I brought all these items together um, to have this filming set up. Now, this is what works for me. It may not work for you depending on what you want to do, but for me, like, this has been uh, such a time saver of how I have everything set up. And the camera that I'm filming on is a Canon EOS R. I have the 16 to 35 lens on it now, so I'm able to zoom in and zoom out from time to time. Um, and I think that's about it. Oh, I picked this thing up over at uh, Dick's Sporting Goods. I keep this on my desk because my hands tend to cramp up a lot if I'm editing um, or even when I'm working, you know, so this is just a little fun toy to kind of have around. And that's about it. That's kind of my, my setup that I've come up with. 
Um, it's again for me, it's great because I'm able just to sit down and film. Um, another thing that you guys might want to consider as part of your setup is making sure that your videos are consistent when it comes to color grading and lighting. So what you could do is do a couple of test footages, right? For example, you sit in front of your camera, you could put the light on um, a little dim or maybe brighter, check your ISO on your camera, uh, depending on what your aperture it's at. Once you kind of come up with a profile that you're comfortable with, then that's one less thing you have to set up. So the idea here is to be able to sit down and film and not waste time on setting up equipment every time you want to do so. So that's it. That's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, if you liked it, you found it helpful, give this video a thumbs up. I hope you guys are all staying indoors, that you and your families are safe during this time. Um, we know it's tough. It's hard to create content. It's, it's hard to do a lot of things. But most importantly, I feel that um, it's important to stay indoors and to keep everyone around you uh, safe, including yourself. So um, again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.